Gentlemen, ladies, the current date is May 17th, 2011, and this is the KNKL Daily Show number 9 today. We're going to be doing a Tutorial Tuesday. I'm going to basically be revealing all of my secrets about how I do art and how I do the show and just kind of if you want to start your own web show or art or, I mean, you can do whatever you want basically with this. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be going over my programs, my software, my, I guess, uh, hardware that I use. And we are getting started right now. So, the first thing we will talk about is the tablet. Now, I work in Photoshop, and I use this thing called a Wacom Intuos 2. And we will be taking a look at my desk right here. I work on. I have a dual screen setup here. Over here, I've got my little webcam controls. You can see there, and then over here, whoa! Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, I bet you never did that before. And down here, you can see the tablet. Now this little baby is called a Wacom Intuos 2, and this is the sensor pen that comes with it. Now the cool thing about it is that it'll pick up where the mouse is. See, as I move it, it'll actually move the mouse. And it's pressure sensitive too, so it allows you to just have these really natural strokes when you're working in Photoshop. So you can't buy like ones like this. Like I think they're up to Intuos. Intuos. I think they're in, up to Intuos 4 right now. So, but those usually range, I think, from $300 to $400, depending on the size that you want to get. But they're really nice. I managed to get mine from a coworker that I used to work with back in Utah before I moved here to California. I bought it for like a little over 100 bucks. You could probably get it on Intuos 2 for about that same price on eBay if you wanted to. So next we're going to be moving on to software. We will start with Photoshop. We'll go right into that right now. And to demonstrate, we'll be using Malkai. I was drawing him a few days ago. And with this, I'll show you basically how the tablet works. So you pick your color here. Let's first give him a little bit of a, a backdrop color. So now let's take like a dark brown, brownish red kind of thing going on there. And over here, you see uh, I've created the lines right here and I've set the layer to multiply. And basically what that does is, if you put it on normal, see, I did the lines wrong here and that's because I drew it right on top of the background. And basically what that means is it's going to have all this white space. So when you start a new document, you always want to create a new layer on top of it, on top of it and start doing your lines on top of that. Otherwise you'll have to do this. But uh, it's not it's not the end of the world if you have to do it, it's just kind of a little bit of a pain in the arse. So you set it to multiply and basically it's going to take on the, the, the properties of the color behind it. Which is really nice if you just want to kind of throw down some quick colors. So you pick your brush tool over here. And the really cool thing is that you can adjust the, the brush size on the fly with the left and, left and right angle bracket things. Yeah, uh, the left one makes it smaller and the right one makes it bigger. And so now, oh, we're working with a soft brush. Your brushes are up here, obviously. I'm sure you know that. And so you can look, as I press light, as I press lightly, it'll create lighter strokes. And if I press hard, it'll make darker, thicker strokes. So yeah, that's, that's basically the biggest thing about having the tablet. And I work in Photoshop CS3 right now. I'd like to start working in like the higher versions just to see kind of what tools they've improved upon. I've heard they have some cool little new tricks and stuff that they've um, added uh, to the program to help you just with any type of design or whatever you're working on. But uh, yeah, I mean, I've been doing pretty much the same thing since Photoshop Elements. You know, like the crappy Photoshop that comes with like a digital camera from like five years ago. You can pretty much do the same thing, I'm pretty sure, as long as you have the tablet and you just download the software and, and make sure that it's working with the, the pressure sensitivity. So that's just kind of an example of how that works. And, and when I'm doing like fine details, like say his teeth or whatever, you can kind of zoom in and kind of do that. So I think that's enough of that. I'm just going to finish up his face and just kind of color in his eyeballs really quick. And then we will move on to 
uh, the programs that I use to actually record the dailies. In case any of you out there are interested in starting your own show or you want to you know, record yourself or doing something on the computer, be it um, you know, with video games, I don't think that this works. But as far as like drawing and, and doing things on the computer, like using any other type of program besides a video game, I think it'll it'll work unless there's some sort of a thing that I haven't figured out yet. So I forget what color Maokai's eyes are. I think they're like a purpley, right? I think they're purple. And that's good enough. We will make them purple. Give them a little bit of a glow there. Oh, whoops. There you go. So you can see kind of how that affects the 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 drawing just by placing your lines to multiply, or just uh, making them right in the first place, and then throwing down the color behind it. Now we're going to be moving on to, like I said, Cam Studio. Cam Studio is a nifty little program that basically records your screen. You kind of set it up like what, like a box on your screen, and it'll record the what you want it to. Now I'm going to pull it up right here. So as you can see right here, we have the Cam Studio interface. And basically, all you got to do is you go into like video options or, or region. This is what I do. I set it to a fixed region on my right monitor. And then uh, basically, so it's just going to record in the same place every time. So I don't have to reposition it. You can set it up so you can move it with your mouse too, but I just like it to have it fixed. And I can move the windows around however I want. Kind of gives you a little bit more control. Then for recording, when you first get it, if you go into video options, what it's going to start you off with is this thing called Microsoft Video One, and it it takes I guess good video, but you're going to have like five gigs for like five minutes pretty much. So the way to alleviate that is go to Divix site and download the Divix codec. And when you install it, it should pop up on this menu right here. So then all you got to do is um, you go into configure and then you want to make sure like this is the, I've looked up tutorials on this thing. And this was honestly the hardest part was figuring out how to get it to work because there was all these like compatibility issues. I'd hit record and it said it couldn't find it or it couldn't use it. But that's because I just did a lot of research online and I found out that you have to set it. I think originally it was like maybe home theater or 720 HD. You gotta make sure you set it to 1080 HD profile. Um, the quality I don't think I messed with and I think it automatically adjusts this. And then you hit OK. Now for a live recording of a video, what you're gonna wanna do is set it to, I've got it here set to my time lapse setting. So it's 20 frames keyframes it captures a frame every 2000 milliseconds which is obviously two seconds and then the playback rate is 20 seconds now for a, a live video you go this is the settings that I use I go 120 frames capture frames every uh, can't believe I forgot it I had it written down here where is it I think it's 25 yeah 25 no, 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 I think it's 40, and then 25. Basically, you have to come up with two numbers that multiply to equal 1,000. So, yeah, I think that's what I do. It captures every 40 milliseconds and then plays back at 25 frames a second. And then that works, because then the other thing is, it like, if these don't multiply up to equal 1,000, your voice and your vision or your uh, visual is not going to line up. You're going to be talking, but your mouth is going to be behind. And then sometimes you'll have to calibrate it perfectly so it uh, so it matches you. And that's where you go to audio and video synchronization. And then bam, see my audio goes before my video. You know, so I have my time shift set to 110 milliseconds. So right now it's it's pretty close. My voice might be a little bit before the visual is coming up. But uh, it's pretty close for now, and I'll probably just calibrate it, like fine tune it later on. But right now it works, so I'm happy with it. 
So anyway, yes, you can download Camp Studio at campstudio.com. You just search, Google it. Don't forget the DivX codec, and then if you have any questions, I mean, look back here and then uh, follow. Just kind of copy the settings that I have. Now, okay, so that's how you start your own show. Now we're moving on to Yaw Cam. Now, Yaw Cam is basically what you're watching me through right now, and that's this window right here. And the reason why I like it is because when you first get the webcam, which is this one right here, I got this Logitech. I bought it off of Amazon. It looks like this. This little guy right here. The HD Webcam C310. And uh, it's pretty cool because it's it hooks up nicely. It wasn't that hard to, to install. And it comes with like these cool little effects. You see me do these. <laughs> uh, like it has all these weird little effects. Like, oh yeah, old times. Yeah, look at that. I was thinking about using this one when I first started because it makes me look more attractive. What do you guys think? And then this one. Mm. Yes, I love this one. So many fun faces you can make with this. Ha! Ah. Ah. Ha! Ooh, wow. Okay. Um, this one's just kind of gay. This one's scary. Yeah. This looks like uh, like when you look out the peephole when uh, the pizza guy's at your door. <laughs> This one is on drugs. This is uh, neon land, neon dimension, and this one's kind of a mosaic gay thing. But those are the effects that actually just come with the camera, so I thought those were kind of fun. Uh, the camera itself costed, I think, around it was around like thirty or forty dollars, and it's a pretty good investment. I mean, it's pretty nice. It has a it has a nice uh, it shoots video in 720p. You know, but uh, I really just wanted it so I could use it um, to get basically my face. Because the way that I'm doing this right now is I'm using, like I said, Yaw Cam. And what I like about Yaw Cam is it allows you to adjust the window. So you can go, like, uh, the software that the camera comes with doesn't allow you to do this. So Yaw Cam, for now, is just kind of solving that problem. I can make myself, you know, huge or, you know, small. And I can, like, I can like look look over at Maokai and like point at him like that. <laughs> you know, it's kind of fun. I'm gonna like look down at him. Woo! So I was thinking about kind of doing stuff like that, but really it's just kind of nice for the resizing tool. So yes, Yaw Cam will will give you those results if that's what you're looking for. Whoa, please. So yes, I think that covers it pretty much. Yeah, the webcam. Uh, yeah, so basically it's just a combination of those things. So I've set up the Yaw Cam right here, and then I'm using Cam Studio, and I'm not actually recording myself with the webcam. I'm recording the screen that has a preview of myself, and then the microphone is actually in the, the webcam as well, which is actually really nice. It has like a has like an auto an auto adjuster for both light and your voice when you're talking so it comes through pretty clear and there's not a lot of like white noise and it takes care of like constant constant sounds in the background so you won't hear it when you're talking so overall it's it's very nice uh, I mean I have a lot of things to still learn about uh, streaming and, and live video and stuff but for now I mean this is what I figured out and this is what works for me so hopefully if you guys want to do something like that you know feel free to and uh, yeah it'll be Hopefully it'll be a little bit more of a help to you. So for now, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I wish I would have seen how long we were going. Should have. That's the next thing, is uh, when you start your own show, you start doing your own uh, thing. You definitely you gotta start taking notes. You gotta start. I mean, every episode you're gonna learn something, and every episode you're probably gonna forget something too. So that's kind of the the fun of it. Is uh, just learning, and uh, but don't be afraid to like step over dead bodies, you know. Like Day Nine says, he's he's my big inspiration. He's the reason why I started doing this, because I wanted to, and, and even before that, I always wanted to make art, because uh, art is like a thing that you you put your time into it and then you show somebody. But I always wanted to make it a little bit more of a performance, something you could watch happen, something you could be entertained by, something, you know, you could get excited about. And uh, doing the daily show has really 
just uh, allowed me, it's given me an area where I can be passionate about something every day and just uh, hopefully help people. But I mean, it, it's not even about like people watching the show necessarily. It's, it's kind of a, it's like an exercise for your communication, for self-confidence building. It's, it's really great. Like it's fun and uh, it just makes me feel good. So that's why I do it. So anyway, I think that I will call it good with that. And yes, thank you. I hope that you enjoyed this Tutorial Tuesday. Not too much drawing today, but we will get into that a little more tomorrow. I'll, I'll have something ready for you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you enjoyed a little bit more of a FaceTime for me, and hopefully it feels a little bit more personal. So uh, before I go, I'm going to tell you the websites that you can go, the ones that you should support if you like the, the show and you want to see more knkldaily.blogspot.com. You can go there, you can see all the episodes. Uh, and you can also access the Facebook from there. You can donate if you feel like you know supporting the show. It's really appreciated. Uh, knockworse.deviantart.com. That's my DeviantArt site. And then uh, twitter.com slash knockworst. That's where, where my Twitter is. and You can follow me on there if you'd like. And with that, yeah. Subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down if you like this. And yeah, thank you guys, and I will talk to you guys next time. See you!